Hey guys, Dennis Leskovitz here and today we're going to discuss yet another part of Google My Business Optimization. What we're going to look at today is specifically a gray hat hack that you can use to rank really fast. Now this is gray hat. What does gray hat mean? Gray hat means it's not the best and most clean version of scaling a Google My Business li listing, but it's also not a fully black hat, which is a fully spammy kind of a, a, uh, a version that goes against Google Terms of Service. So it's kind of a mix in between, but it has been yielding incredible results, which is why this slight risk is worth it in the long run. So what are we looking at? Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the naming structure of your Google My Business listing. And what we're gonna see is that when you add specific modifiers to the name of your business within the Google My Business listing, you're gonna get very quick and very high ranking results almost instantaneously. So let's jump into my computer and let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now, before I do that, if you have any other questions that you want answered regarding Google My Business, regarding ranking in Google Maps, let me know down in the comments below and go ahead and subscribe to this channel as well. Alrighty, without further ado, let's hop on into my computer and I'm gonna show you exactly this gray hat hack that you can use to really rank your Google My Business listings quite fast. All right, are you ready? Let's go. All right, so what we have here is I searched flooring installation within Google and I searched from Sacramento. So here is the Google Maps listing that pops up. This is the Maps 3 pack. And as you can see, the number one ranking is DC floors. Now. DC Floors has probably been in business for a long time. They have acquired a lot of Google trustworthiness. And so Google is putting them on the top as the best result. Now, they just have a brand name, which again, took a long time to accumulate the trust. Now, if you're a newcomer to the game, like I am with a new Google My Business listing that I have that I'm gonna show you right now, um, I'm trying to get to the top as quick as I can, right? Without being penalized by Google. So how do we do that? Well, we need to add two keyword modifiers to our Google My Business name so that we can start ranking a little bit faster. Now, again, this is a gray hat technique. This is not something I'd recommend for beginners. I do want to stress this that be careful with this technique, although it has provided great and amazing results for a lot of business owners. Please do understand that this is not something that is totally advised by Google. All right. So let's jump into the listing that I'm looking at that I want to rank. So in, in this case, I have already added one keyword modifier, but uh, we are looking at the name. All right. In this case, the name is Casper, which is the actual business name. And I have a dash and then I have a keyword here, right? I have a flooring installation contractor. Now, the interesting thing about flooring installation contractor is that it's actually two keywords. It's flooring installation and flooring contractor. You can actually mix and match these things and Google will rank you for both. Now, I want to add a second keyword modifier. What would that be? Hmm. So what I'm looking at is a city that I want to do business in the most. Okay. In this case, it's Sacramento. So I would add a, another dash and I would add dash Sacramento. All right. And then I would click apply, but you know what? I'm going to change the business name a little bit as well. I'm going to make it Casper floors. And then, so the business name is Casper floors, right? There's a dash. There's one main keyword. All right. In my case, it's flooring insulation contractor. In your case, it could be emergency plumber, 24 hour plumber, um, dentist, um, divorce attorney, right? The main keyword that you're trying to go for should be the second, uh, should be after the first dash. All right. That's the second thin thing within the Google, my business listing name. And then the third thing is there's another dash and it's the city that you're trying to rank for. All right. In my case, it's Sacramento. In other case, it could be any other, you know, city. It could be a small town. The point is that, um, this is a strategy that is really effective for ranking 
a new Google My Business listing. And so in this case, I'm gonna press apply. Now, this is a big change. So what I wanna do, a little trick that I wanna do is I want to get this to save as quick as possible. So the trick that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the hours as well. I'm gonna say that we work on Memorial Day. All right, I'm gonna click apply. Uh, let's see, open um, let's do 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. When you change the hours, Google accepts it. Google is more likely to accept major um, business name changes and major things like changing your phone number and changing your you know name of the business a lot better. Um, in some cases, if you do uh, change the business name and you don't change anything else, it could have you. Google might actually tell you to re-verify the listing, which is sometimes a problem, especially if you purchase the listing from a third party and you might not have access to the mailbox anymore. So that's the thing, that's the gray hat trick, the hack that you can use to rank. Now, um, again, look, f look for, this should be part of a much bigger strategy to actually rank for all the keywords that you wanna go for, but it's a really quick way to start getting phone calls, start getting leads inbound, then start getting results. That's what we're ultimately after, all right? So I hope this video helped you. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe down below. And if you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments. I'm totally there and glad to help you out. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.